Alright, I'm here today with uh, Jeremy Lucchini, uh, Mike North, and, uh, and Dave Smith from Factory 5 Racing. Uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk. Um, so you guys just unveiled this kick-ass hot rod right here. Um, what made you guys decide to, uh, to try to put this thing together? Well, I mean, our conference is in Southern California this year, and we knew we had to do something really bitching like a hot rod, but we, we just didn't want to go the standard route. It's a room full of engineers. We wanted to do something really spectacular, like a, a fully battery electric hot rod, and then it really started with Mike and, and our CEO, Jeff Ray, what, what about a half a year ago? Nine about months ago? Nine months ago? Yeah. Jeff wanted an electric car that looked good. I'm like, yeah, we can do that. So we threw around the idea of doing a hot rod, and then, as luck had it, this guy is building the high-performance race hot rod. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and, and it was SolidWorks based. So solid it was easy, so now, whatever the changes that were needed on the car, uh, Jeremy could take the CAD files, and, and, and there weren't a ton of changes, but you know you couldn't just go out and get a hot rod frame. It wouldn't work that Then you'd be cutting and welding stuff. So, bang, it was on SolidWorks, we were already using it. So really, the car was from the beginning to the end, all just waiting for you. Yeah. So it was a perfect project. I mean, Factory 5 is an unbelievable customer of ours. You know, I just love their product, and uh, they, they have a very similar customer base, customer base passionate about the cars you guys have. Absolutely, yeah. But it actually becomes their cars. They're the ones assembling it, right? I mean, this is going to a SolidWorks crowd, right? Right? Yeah. I mean, this, the SolidWorks community is very similar to Factor 5 community in that you know customers are very loyal and passionate about the product because they're users. They're, they're using it to do things that really they couldn't have done maybe without that tool. So we're a lot smaller company, but the same thing. You know, if you're building your own car, you love the company that built it if it comes out the way you want. But yeah, and then this guy took that project to the next level, you know, it's insane. So, but I'll tell you what, this is exciting, and I don't want to hog your airtime, but this is this is exciting because big companies can't do this. Small companies, and now what Jerry's doing with Go Design is harnessing guys' energies, and all these small companies with with tools that you know, 20 years ago, stamping dies and tooling. That's the domain of the big three, and you little people can't do this. Now, this SolidWorks software and software like it is more powerful. And the tools are great, and now small companies can do stuff that we're, we're running away from them. They're still trying to turn around. It's amazing. Yeah. So, so this thing goes zero to sixty in what three point eight seconds, something like that. Right now it goes zero to sixty in three point eight. On street tires. On street tires in a parking lot, first try, with some slicks on it, a little bit of tuning, our second battery pack in it. We think we'll be down to three seconds. What kind of voodoo do you have to work to make that happen? <laughs> Uh, you just take a motor that puts out 660 foot-pounds of torque, and you put in a car that weighs 2,000 pounds, there's not a lot of voodoo there. You guys showed this thing off at the SEMA show uh, last year, right? Yep. Was yeah, that, was, that, there? that was the phase one of the project. Just get it looking good, get it assembled correctly before we could dial in all the electronics. And uh, it was in Dave's booth, yep. alongside four other great-looking 33 hot rods, high-performance one, all gas-powered. Yep. Yep. And then, you know, this kind of fit the, you know, the market it was for you for us too. It was cool because you got nuts oh. because we're, we're surrounded by gasoline alley basically. But Nobody. it was immediately recognizable as different, but it was received well because yeah. you got here is the ultimate evolution of a hundred years of internal combustion. Engine. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. That's my whole career, right? Yeah. And now here is really in its nascent form, and it's really a driving car. It's not one of these harebrained prototypes you see on the news, like oh, this will be at a hundred miles per gallon. No, this is a driving functional car. But it's at the headwaters of a technology that is so much more capable of electronics and controlling wheel spin, controlling acceleration, and what Mike was talking about when you guys were driving, it was deceleration. So really, you know, it's not really truly regenerative, but it's, it's similar to regenerative braking. We're using the engine to slow down the car. But you can do that with microprocessors to control the attitude of the car. That's a future race car in 10 years. Packed, it, seemed it, was, I mean, yeah. it was great. They went nuts. It yeah. was awesome. So it was accepted. Gearheads yeah. are looking at it and saying, hey, you know what? I don't maybe understand the technology. What yeah. you guys have done with the controller and all that is complex, but you know, and maybe gearheads are looking at it saying, hey, it's voodoo. Yeah. But it's not voodoo because when they see like, holy, how fast is it? Oh, now they're like, oh, I can use that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it performs is performance. That was the typical response. People would be like, oh, looks good. They get up front, they see the blinking lights. Wait, it's electric? Electric? <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, wow, that's nice and all, but does it perform? So is, is there anything on here that you guys kind of particularly geeked out on? <laughs> For me, <laughs> everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna. I, honestly, the, the the thing that most impressed me was get, getting the engine inside the cabin with the uh, the passenger and the driver, and uh, it didn't want to hide that with a with a just a piece of sheet metal and then carpet over that. So we had uh, this great guy, Mike from Techniform, uh, build us a, a smoked, clear, vacuum-formed uh, polycarbonate tunnel that sits over that. So you can sit in the car and look down and see it, your 
fuss mode and it's killing. I mean, and I've and never been in a car. The like assumptions that has, are so cool though, that's because my you know they're here with the fire marshal. The fire marshal says you got to have a blanket under the car for drop fluids because yeah. they're looking at a car. Mm -hmm. And it's like the paradigm just shifted. No, I had gearheads at SEMA saying, "Look at that scatter shield. You can't put a scatter shield in that. You'll lose your." There's no flywheel there in the conventional sense. It's awesome. So yeah, so there's a lot of new things, but it's not What's just. Your favorite part? It's the it's the switch. The switch I found. Yeah. It's the switch you found at a nice. junkyard. Yeah. It's a switch off a lathe, like from the 40s. It just says forward, neutral, reverse. But yeah. Yeah. It's it's so hot rod. It's just taking whatever you can and putting it together. I'm sure we took the most state of the art cutting edge batteries and we put it in here. Custom made bus motor, DC induction motor, and yeah, we're gonna take this old switch out of a junkyard because that works. That's what we found, and yeah. it's perfect for the car. That's right. And I mean, when we dropped the, the idea of having a transmission, we didn't need a transmission. I'm like, okay, if I'm driving this car, I still want to know, kind of like, I don't want to push a button and tell me to go forward. You know, this is a retro hot rod. I want to move something with my hand to tell me, yep, we're gonna go forward. We found that lathe switch. That's fun. That's a cool piece. Yep, I agree. All right, guys. I know you have a lot of people that want to talk to you about this, so I'm going to let you go. But uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk, and this is really awesome. You're welcome. So, Thank so, you. Thanks for coming. All right.